Hi, my name is Karl Lencho and I'm here with another video from the Masters of Mindset series. If you haven't seen my previous video, please go watch it before you watch this one. In my previous video, I gave you some tips on how to prepare for a poker tournament and today's topic is how to stay focused during a poker tournament. Stay tuned. <laughs> Tournaments can last between a couple of hours to even a couple of days and you have to count with it. It's not like a cash game where you can take your money and walk away whenever you want. In tournament, you play until you win or until you lose all your chips. So you have to adapt to that and do everything you can to prepare yourself for the long run and don't lose focus while you're running. Now ask yourself one question. Why? Why do you play the tournament? Why you decided to play the tournament? If your answer is anything else than because I want to win it, then you need to think again and change your priorities. You play to win. First place. That's it. Your eyes should be at top spot all the time. You should come to the tournament with the intention to win it, okay? That will be your biggest motivation and the thing that will keep you going the whole tournament. It must be in the back of your head with every decision you make. You play to win. That's the mind of a champion. Another important thing is not to get intimidated by your stack size. If you have 150 big blinds, play your 150 big blinds the best you can. If you have 10 big blinds, play your 10 big blinds the best you can. The thing is that it doesn't matter how much you have now. If you are short stack and you have 10 big blinds, then you need to ask yourself, okay, I have 10 big blinds now, how can I play my 10 big blinds in the most profitable way? If you have 150 big blinds, then you need to ask yourself, okay, I have 150 big blinds, how can I play my 150 big blinds in the most profitable way? You see, the stack sizes are different, but the questions stay the same. So if you're short stack, it doesn't mean that you should be sad or angry or less motivated. And if you're big stack, it doesn't mean that you can do crazy stupid plays and spew away chips and feel like you already won. How many short stacks came back to win the tournament? and how many chip leaders felt short, even though they were in an amazing position to win the tournament. It doesn't mean nothing, it's just a short term thing. Your attitude should be, okay, I have this much and this much, and I'm going to make the best decisions possible to win the tournament, no matter how much you have. Another tip, watch hands that you are not involved in. It's free information that you might need later, especially showdowns. Every time somebody flips over their card, your eyes gotta be there. And you can do that if you're on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever. And that brings us to another important thing. Leave your phone alone. You want to text your girlfriend? Hey baby, I love you. Okay, do it and put your phone away. You want to write a tweet? Yo, I have this many and this many chiefs. Thank you all for the support. Okay, do it and put your phone away. Don't be that guy that is just here on his phone the whole time acting cool like yeah I'm on my phone I'm calling I'm raising while I'm on my phone man I'm so cool multitasking like a boss I often see guys playing freaking Candy Crush Saga a Candy Crush Saga you you came here to play Candy Crush Saga come on man you like you paid the buy for the tournament to come to the table and play Candy Crush Saga really please don't be that guy do what you gotta do do it quick and keep your eyes on the table you want to listen to some music? Okay, make a playlist and listen to some music. But don't change it every two minutes. Play it and leave it, that's it. Don't waste your mental space. And the last but not least, make sure that you keep your blood flowing through your body. Drink, eat, breathe, stretch a little bit, move, like do push-ups. If you see a guy doing push-ups next to the poker table, it's me. <laughs> it's me 100%. You don't want to sit just in one position the whole time. You will get tired. Your back is gonna hurt, you'll start to get frustrated. Make sure you stand up from time to time, you know, stretch a little bit, drink some water, breathe. I know it sounds like a simple thing with no effect, but trust me, it helps a lot. You will instantly start to feel good and fresh and excited and pumped for everything that is about to come. You know what I like to do actually? I like to raise my hands above my head like this, you know? Do you know why I do that? You, you have funny like, or like this, or like this, it doesn't matter. You know why I do that? Who does that? Think about it. Think about it for a second. Winners guys, winners do that. Raise your hands up right now, do it. Do it. Put, put your hands like this or like this. And don't tell me that you don't feel good. It's a body language of a winner. Your opponents are gonna look at you and in their head they're gonna be like, Oh my god, this guy is here to win. He's here to win. He's a champion, look at him. 
Look how comfortable he is. Look how confident he is. Oh my God, he's a winner. Look at him. So make sure your body language and your vibes are on the right way so you can focus better. That's it guys. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. More videos are on the way. We're just getting started. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff will be down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.